back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. UFC former title challenger and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu legend Damian Maya is letting everybody know the reason for accepting a short notice fight with one of the most avoided fighters in the UFC, Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian nightmare. And this is what Damian Maya had to say. When we came here last time, I was trying to explain and teach the journalists and the media here about MMA because they had no clue what MMA was. To come and do that first event in Chile and the first event in South America besides Brazil and open this new market is one of the main reasons I accepted this fight. So with that being said, this is like, um, uh, you know how Tyron Woodley's always talking about legend fights or, or what, what does he say? Um, fights for his legacy, legacy fights. That's the word I was looking for, not legend fights. This is like a legacy fight for Damian Maya. This is the type of shit to make you a legend. You're going to a place where the, the UFC's very first time going to Chile, you're a part of the main event. That's, you know, stuff that people in Chile are gonna remember forever. The UFC fans, the MMA fans, as the sport continues to grow, especially in South America, this is the type of shit people are gonna remember you for. You know, whether it's becoming a champion or fighting the best guys in the world, um, or it's just fighting in a new market. That's the shit that's going on here, you know, with Damian Maya. So that's uh, a big motivator as far as a reason to fight Kamaru Usman, who a lot of people aren't super hyped about fighting. You know, Kamaru Usman, is a UFC source has said, is one of the most avoided fighters in UFC history. Not just in the welterweight division, they said UFC history. So that's saying a lot. But with that being said, this is Kamaru Usman's chance to get into the top five. Damian Myers riding a two-fight losing streak currently. He lost uh, to the champion, Tyron Woodley. Then he went on to lose to Kobe Covington. Now he's taking this fight short notice against Kamaru Usman and the main event of UFC Chile actually this weekend. Now this fight's a short notice because um, Santiago Ponzinibbio was originally scheduled to face Kamaru Usman, but he was injured uh, about a month before the event, which is when the UFC needed a replacement opponent. Damian Maya steps in, gets this opportunity. Probably not the idea matchup, man. He's a pretty big underdog going into this fight on top of being short notice, but he's still getting to do something as far as what he got to say. You know, he's getting to show people in Chile the highest level of MMA break in the event and he said he was trying to explain and teach journalists back in the day about it and so now it's kind of full circle he gets to come and headline that event so that's pretty dope with that being said man it is what it is let the full-time family know what you think in the comments about Damian Maya versus Kamaru Usman and Damian Maya's reasoning for taking this fight with Kamaru Usman you guys think he would have took this fight if it wasn't UFC Chile and as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da 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 da! It's the motherfucking DLWG!